hello let's deploy application on kubernetes cluster for that you can use this option before you need a yml file or helm chart for that you can go github and go to the pavan it zone account and select gke or argo cd so for now i will go with the argo cd projects uh, here you can click on guest book where i have yml file so you have you can see that i have two file at here one is ui deployment and one is a service for that application guest book application and here is the helm guest book where we have a templates and other required uh, files which will we use to deploy our applications so there are other also options but i will be using uh, plain yml or helm chart so let's see with the guest book how we can uh, use this uh, yml file and we can deploy so first you need to copy uh, clone HTTPS URL and just go to the settings and repository click on connect repo using HTTPS and type uh, paste the HTTPS URL that we have copied from there or you can also use SSH uh, but here I am going to use HTTPS for this project so let's go and connect with HTTPS and paste the URL, repository URL that we have copied from github and you can see that the connection status is successful the first part is done the second is click on new app and here in application name type the name guest book i will name it and the project i will select the default one which i have which is there already we have not created any other projects just click on sync policy and there are two options manual or automatic automatic means it will automatically sync your project if any change happen on git repository for now i will select manual we don't want automatic changes the same thing at here if you want to create namespace you can select this option otherwise leave it select the source repository url that you have added and path so i have the uh, root uh, root path and from root path we can go to the guest book so we need to type guest book at the path so that it can pick yml from this directory so we can also type the name and it will list you that but this uh, it is it's not listing yet here but uh, it will list you generally so just type the name if it is not listing for you just click the kubernetes cluster on which you want to deploy and type the name space so you can create name is new and name space at here so i will create a name space calling kubectl create uh, uh, we can type uh, create uh, ns for name space and the name of the guest uh, name space is guest book so i will be using guest book as a name space for this application to be deployed so i typed it and here is the other options uh, if you want to type the external variables or any other options if you want to add to into the projects you can type at here or just click create so you can see that it is saying that the guest book is not a in uh, is invalid namespace so every character should be in a small character so just i change this to a small one so now you can see that your project has been a uh, job is created now you can see the status is missing and out out of sync which is not synced yet so now the next part is to sync your project uh, this job to deploy so you can see uh, uh, the green status is uh, yellow status which is which is showing that your application is not deployed yet so now what you need to do you can uh, you can see other options at here at here but uh, when you will click on app details it will show you that other options like uh, summary parameters manifest differences events so if you de uh, deploy these applications multiple times the differences can be viewed at here that what are the change previously it was and what are the new changes that you have done into the code manifest is the code where where is it will pull every detail information like the url of the repository and uh, in the event you can see that the activity how what is done so if any error comes it you can view into the events tab so for now i'm going to sync this project so you can click on this or you can click uh, by here just click sync and uh, there are options prune dry run apply online forces but i'll go with the default for now just click on synchronize so it will start synchronizing or it will start creating 
application pod onto the Kubernetes cluster. So you can see the status at here. So it is deploying. So the the first part is deploy deployment deployed pass is done. Now the service part is in process. So it is creating a service for there. So you can just go onto the service Google uh, GKE control panel and from there into the service ingress you can see that the guestbook UI has got is about to get the public IP address so in service we have selected load balancer that's why it is going on service and it is asking for the public IP address but if you are in a private Kubernetes cluster so you will have a node port so you can you will get the URL at here also so now you can see everything is done what I need to do is basically go on service and click on the link which we have uh, received from the Kubernetes cluster and here you can see that this is your website which is de deployed and you can see the view of your website at here now just go back on to the Argo CD tool just click at here and you can see the status of your applications which is deployed so everything is green the this is healthy status so you can see at here you can also change the view of the application onto the argo cd ui so that's it for this video we will see you in the next video thank you for watching